One type of photography that I really enjoyed while shooting in the rainforest is extended depth of field. Now, by controlling your depth of field, you really can capture some compelling images. You'll notice that the camera is really close on my subject. This is going to make it a lot easier to pull off the shallow depth of field and really showcase the subject while letting the background be non-distracting. I'm going to change this to tap to focus and this allows me to set different focus points there around the leaf versus the flower and you'll see at f13 we have quite a bit in focus. Now let's push that the opposite way. We're going to go ahead and stop that all the way down to f22 and you see that we still get a fair amount shallow depth of field because we're so close to our subject but if we take that all the way and open the lens up, this goes to 2.8, you'll see just how shallow it gets. And even though the shutter speed is changing, because the camera is on a tripod, that's going to minimize any shaker vibration, and I don't have to worry about it. This is not the sort of shot you're going to want to try to get handheld when you're this close on the subject. The rainforest area is pretty busy, and the distractions are very prevalent. There's all sorts of wonderful things you want to take pictures of, but not very far away are more wonderful things, and your shot can become pretty cluttered. By using shallow depth of field, you're able to use the bokeh or bokeh to blur the background out and keep it very pleasant. Another thing that I learned, though, was focus stacking. And it's a technique I'd done in the studio, but never in the field before. What I like to do is often take multiple pictures. Now, I explored this first in one of my lynda.com classes on tethered shooting. And what focus stacking allows you to do is to put the camera on a tripod and take multiple photos. Much like how you would bracket exposures, you're essentially bracketing focus. By moving the focus point to different parts within the screen, you have a photo where different areas are in focus. Sometimes as you shoot, it's very difficult in the lower light to keep everything you want in focus. This is because you're using a more open aperture and the depth of field gets a bit shallow. In my case, I used a touchscreen LCD panel on the back of the camera. As I tapped different areas, it set focus. And this was really quite easy. You see a lot of cameras these days give you a couple of cool options. First up, the viewfinder or the LCD screen can articulate, meaning that rather than having to bend over and get in an uncomfortable position, I just tilted it out so it was easy to see. This also worked well to minimize any light environment or pollution. Then, by tapping the screen, I could easily move focus. I didn't have to manhandle the camera and push the joystick around. It was just a simple, gentle touch. In fact, on my camera, I was using one from Olympus, although this feature is available on many, I could just tap the screen to set focus and take the picture. This made it really easy to go through and artistically build up a very complex area of shots. By tapping the screen multiple times, I was able to create a composite image of several areas in focus, essentially creating an image that would have been technically impossible to shoot.